what's up i'm back in this short segment i'm going to talk about ricky healer um when i talk about ricky healing i'm not coming from i'm not a ricky healer but i get people who ask me this how efficient i think ricky is or if i think ricky's real i would say this i don't bash any system but when you deal with healing or using energy to even heal your, your body or, or be able to try to soothe somebody's mind with just energy your energy has to be exceptional. No question. Because when you're healing somebody with energy, you're taking in some of their energy and you're giving them purified energy. When you look at it from that point of view, well, first of all, the concept of Ricky healing, in a sense, really was taken from Tibet. A Japanese person actually created it, but he took basically what he wanted from Tibet, from Tibetan healing systems, and he repackaged it. So I wouldn't say it's, it's, it's fake. But it already came off, once you do that, it already comes off as an incomplete version of what it was. Because to really heal somebody's body, like in the ancients knew, because the East was pretty good at healing. Those those healers who were healing energy would be in sabbatical for like two, three years by themselves, purifying the energy. Because don't forget, most human beings right now uh, have a very limited amount of energy. No way in hell the human body in its present state can heal anybody with just energy. So then you get people who use instruments, use herbs, use medicines. That type of healing is tends to be more effective because most people are not in that position to even be able to hold that energy to let alone push it to somebody else. So when people ask me, is Ricky real? It's not fake in a sense. Like, yes, it comes from a real legitimate healing science. But the way it's packaged today, you have to question it. Sorry to say, you know, I mean, it takes like, put like this, even if you were Reiki, even if you were energetic healer in the past, you would know herbology and other systems, you know, whether it's, you know, whether it's massage, you're giving massages to, to soothe the nerves, to help energy flow better, acupuncture, you will learn a whole bunch of other healing techniques before you learn heal and use energy to heal somebody because that'll be the last resort. So naturally, you would be a real master healer in so many other things. You would even learn psychology because basically, honestly, you have to be able to free up your mind to let energy flow. Because what really happens is the cells in your body, they don't want to actually receive the energy. Your mind programs the cells. If your mind is messed up or blocked, your cells get programmed wrong. When they get programmed wrong, they're not going to be able to receive that type of energy. That's why most people have energy problems today because basically their healing routine is all physical healing routine has to be mental spiritual physical at the same time spiritual meaning energetic most people's are not so when you try to then go into straight past the herbs past the acupuncture needles past the techniques of, of giving people massages to heal whatever crystals whatever external instrument you use to heal whether it's you know real western doctor um western you know western medicine when you skip all that and go straight to energy, you're not going to be able to really heal anybody, really. And that's why most of the time now, most Wiki um, practitioners, they focus more on just making you feel better. You know, and then when you, when you feel better mentally, and you know, then they say, well, it, it worked. And remember, this is not to bash anybody doing Wiki because I know a few people doing Wiki. It's just to say that you have to do more work, basically. If you really want to heal using energy... You have to do more work. I think what happens is most people in the spiritual community right now are into fast, quick fixes. And it doesn't work like that. It takes a lot of time. Healing is not... Healing is probably much harder than general spirituality because you have to have hands-on experience doing it. See, in regular spirituality, you can philosophize all day. Doesn't mean... I mean, you should probably should have hands-on experience too, but you could get away with just making philosophies up. When it comes to healing people, people come to you sick, you can't heal them. They question you. And then on top of that, when realistically, the reason, the real reason why the person will learn herbs and other stuff first is because you probably shouldn't be healing the person with energy anyway. You should get them to change their behavior and have them heal themselves. The energetic part was under special circumstances. But if 100 people come to you, and even if you were a real energy, because the thing with Ricky is they're actually all people who have real healing gifts. And they're able to make people feel better. That's, that's what I don't want people to... Look at this video and think I'm bashing Ricky because there's actually people in Ricky who could 
who, who, who actually have a lot of energy and they actually heal people. The problem comes in, they find over a certain period of time of doing that, they start to lose the gift. Why? Because the realistic, the real reason why is because if 100 people come to you to be healed or to be helped, and you give 100 people energy, remember, it's a surplus energy that you have you give to others. Yes, if you do it correctly, you get more energy. But if you don't do it correctly, meaning everybody who's supposed to be healed, who comes to you to be healed, most of the time, you're supposed to use herbs and get them to change their diet, get them to change their behavior to heal themselves. Because realistically, a lot of people, you know, they get into angels and stuff like that. But the gods of this realm, it's the bacteria, it's the viruses. When they deem you guilty, because remember, you got trillions of cells in your body. Your cells are witness to, to your thoughts. They're witness to your actions. And they see. And when they say that you're not really doing what you're supposed to do, they give you a disease. Under that circumstance, most of the time, a change in diet, a change in behavior can either get rid of the disease altogether or can kind of contain it. So realistically, if 100 people come to you to be healed, probably only 5 to 10 under the right circumstances should be used, should energy be used to heal that person. When you try to heal 100 with your energy, you're violating nature because you're not, that person is going to probably go back and do the same thing what they were doing before. Even if they don't, even if 50 people do it, they're good. And if other 50 people do what they were doing before, so you get 50 people change, 50 people do who are doing what they do before. Just 50 people doing what they're doing before is enough. The nature starts to retract this energy from you. That's why a lot of people who are real healers start to lose their gift as, as they go on over time. Because realistically, the person is supposed to change their behavior. Then you're supposed to teach the, per the person how to how to heal themselves, how to take care of themselves. And you can do that with just tapping back into nature. Most of the time when you have a sickness, it's because you weren't listening to nature in the first place. So is Ricky real? Put it like this. If you do it the way it's supposed to, how it was intended, it has potential. But you wouldn't find that out until 5, 10 years after. Because you're supposed to go through a few healing systems first. Get your energy together. Create a surplus. Third way, create a way of communicating with the higher energies to know who's supposed to be healed with energy and who's supposed to not be healed with energy. The person who's not supposed to be healed with energy, you push them to diet, change in behavior. Hope that helps. Till next time, peace.